What is going on everybody? I hope you guys are having a good day. We just got another game code and this game, which you're seeing right now, is up to par Roguelite Mini Golf. Now the game is developed and published by Indie Dev. It's anecdotal. And unfortunately, I don't have the price for you guys as this game is not officially out yet. Although there is a demo if you guys want to try it out for yourself on Steam, I will leave that in the description below. And the game officially comes out on October 14th, 2024. It is a simplistic, minimalistic mini golf game that is a roguelite, right? So those are definitely two things that I like. I love roguelites. Uh, I've spent so much money on so many different types of roguelikes that I'll probably never finish. But that is a genre that I like and that I absolutely love mini golf games. I've been purchasing as many mini golf games as I can. Uh, all indies for the most part ever since the 360 days. And uh, yeah, so those are two things that I like. So I'm really glad that I got this code. Now, just a heads up, there are three different types of game modes for this game. You can play solo, obviously, and that's probably the way I'm going to be doing most of my gameplay. But you can also play in co-op with up to three friends in, for a total of four people. Or you can play versus, um, which is going to be up to 16 players trying to play against each other. Now, so far, I've only been able to play this in solo as the game is not officially out yet. So I, I haven't really been able to find any online matches or anything like that. But that's probably the way I'm going to play the majority of the game. So the way the game works itself is that on um, each hole, you have three shots to make it to your hole. Right Now, your shots are kind of like currency. So with those three shots, you are trying to make it to the hole. And if you can make it before you waste those three shots, those are going to carry over onto the next hole and the next hole and so on and so forth now once you get to the six hole every six hole you get taken to the pro shop which is where you can spend your shots for things like cosmetics consumables or permanent upgrades some of the permanent upgrades that i've unlocked so far and it seems like this is going to be the case for the majority of it is things that add to the course right maybe it'll make it easier for you to get to the hole maybe it'll make it more challenging but so far i've unlocked a couple I unlocked a hump, which just adds a little hump to the course. Um, it kind of makes you need to hit the ball a little bit harder. But if you know what you're doing, you can also use those humps to try to make little shortcuts for yourself and get to the hole faster. Uh, I've also unlocked a wooden bridge, which acts like a drawbridge and you just kind of have to time your shots, right? So those are your permanent unlocks that you can unlock. And uh, so far, it just seems like they're going to be additive to the course. Now your consumables, that's what you really want to use. Uh, I don't remember the names of them, but I think one of them was called pole position. And it is a consumable, which means once you use it, you lose it and you have to purchase it again, right? But what it does is if you have too much power on your ball and you hit the hole, usually you would just go over it and you wouldn't make your shot. But with this pole position consumable, even if you hit it with all the power, as long as it hits the flagpole, it'll suck the ball into the hole and it'll count. That way you don't waste a shot, that way you can save your shots for the next course and things like that. Um, another consumable that I got uh, was specifically for the hump. I don't remember what this one's called, but what it does is if you hit the hump at a high speed, your ball may get kicked off the course. So you obviously don't wanna do that because you lose a shot. So if you use this consumable, even if your ball falls off the course, it does not count the shot against you and you simply get to retake your shot without losing any shots in the process. So those are your consumables. And then of course you've got your cosmetics, uh, which are just for your golf ball. Um, from what I've seen so far, uh, you're gonna start off with a regular golf ball. I think I've unlocked a metal one so far and there's obviously like gold and just other skins that you can unlock as well. Uh, beyond that, as far as the unlockables go, uh, I counted them and there's like 86 things to unlock, which are going to keep things moving forward. Uh, it'll help you get further with each one of your runs. And that's kind of what you're working towards. There's not really an end to this game. It's just something that you would play uh, whenever you just want to relax and shoot off a few holes, see how far you get in each run. Right. So I'm really glad I got this game. I am personally enjoying it. I wanted to share it with you guys. If you guys want to check it out, once again, there is a link to the demo in the description. And I think that's all I've got to say. If you guys want to go and check this out, once again, the game is called Up to Par Rogue Light Mini Golf. And uh, that's it. I will see you guys on the next video.